Hey. Killer frequency. I believe it's the finale, bro. We started off strong on episode one. The second episode, I'm gonna be honest, it was y'all fault. You know, that gas station part, but it's all good. You know, we had we had a little we had a little fumbles, you know, we had a little fumbles, but it's all good. It was it was all it was all their fault, but it's all good, you know. Uh this time we're gonna close it out strong. And I I do truly believe that Penny is a part of this whole this whole like Michael Myers uh mass killer walking around this town, bro. But but yeah, dead ass is definitely your fault. But don't talk to me, y'all, because it's all good. All right, here we go. So we have to go upstairs, right? Damn, I'm like, damn. But this game's a W, bro. Remember, no spoilers, y'all. He said somebody got clapped. Yeah, because of y'all. All right, Penny. You said this town really don't have no... Okay, so I think this is a town of what? I better put a record on. 32 people? It isn't a lot. It's getting pretty late. Here we this go, yeah. This might be your last break for the night, so try to enjoy it. Give what me you... a buzz when you want to go back on air. Bro, I'm ready. What you mean? Let's roll. You got it. We've got another call coming through, too. Yep, 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 I'm locked. I'm already locked. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. I believe we... Lyra, cheer decks 100. The gaslighting is on a thousand. It's the truth, though. You see, the gaslighting is on a thousand. It's true. It was your fault. Stop playing. another caller on the line. How are you tonight, caller? Forrest, it's me, Roller Ricky. Oh, oh and Maxie's oh. here, too. Good to hear from you again. How are you both doing? Oh, uh, we're good, man. Thanks Bro, that was you. crazy. You're like our guardian angel. That wouldn't be a bad look for you, Forrest. Stop, bro. A little white wing halo number. Stop. Maybe something for the KFAM Halloween stop, party. Stop, stop, stop. All right, everyone. Let's calm down. Look at Forrest. Like, damn. Ricky. Get off your I'm own tip, bro. This dude glazing himself. Maxi. Is there anything else we can help you with, Ricky? Actually, I think I have some info that might help you. Okay. Um. Did you see or hear anything during the attack earlier? Not exactly. You see, man, uh, me and Jason know each other. You know each other? Yeah, we went to Gallus High and played on the football team together. He was a gnarly offensive linesman, and I was our star wide receiver. I eat Sammy Cheer Decks 100. Fix the opacity to cat W loss in Mario Party, by the way. No, I'm not. It, it's, it's there on purpose, Custer. Runner Ricky, they called me. All right. And what does that have to do with tonight? Well, because George, the guy who drowned, he was on our team, too. Wait, Jason? Ooh, wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm confused. Who's Jason? Tell me about him. What was George like? Oh, George! I didn't know him for long, man. Sad to say. We had our first team party on the night he drowned. He seemed like such a good dude. Ricky, were you there when George drowned? Okay. No, man. Once the party turned, I beat feet out of there. Man, I remember George and his girl there. There was a whole lot of love, man. I could see it, you know? Wait. Oh. oh, wait. So,
Okay, so I'm 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 thinking I'm thinking two things, but I'm not trying to look at the chat because I know there's gonna be spoilers. Uh, either she killed him, which doesn't really make sense, whole plot wise, which you know will probably be on v uh like like revealed. But I think she's trying to get revenge. I think. I think she's trying to give revenge. If y'all see any any spoilers, then take it out. Ricky, please. What was her name? I never got her name, man. He just called her Bean. I... Bean. I didn't really know her before. Okay, but tell me about her, bro. That. Then what did she look like? Yeah. Please tell us anything you remember. And I think she... I just remember a pretty girl, man. I'm sorry. Ricky, you said the party didn't last long. What happened? We were Here we go. Just having a good time and then the next thing I knew everyone was running for their life. I looked up and saw a goddamn whistling man in the trees. And and I never ran so fast in my life. I'm I'm confused, bro. Is this is this after the drowning? This is after the drowning, right? I ran straight home. Didn't know about George until next. Okay, so this is after the drowning. Okay, and if and if Jason got stabbed, he has something to do with this, bro. I'm guessing it was whistling night, wasn't it? That the whistling man was just another kid. Yeah. I don't know how George died, but. Because remember, Jason, always... yesterday, right? Okay, real quick. Yesterday, Jason, you say, I'm confused. No, because remember, there's a guy, remember Jason? The one that he had the, the, the knife stabbed in his leg? So, yes, on yesterday's episode, Jason went to the killer and they were talking. Pimp and Red Shear Dex 100. Ooh, R -R. They were talking. So... Something was said, and then and then Dawn, she stabbed him. So he has to be involved, and if he's still alive, he could tell us, bro. Well, like, if anyone deserved to die that night, it should have been me. And... No, no, Jason was the dude. No, George. George was the dude, was, uh, the dude that died. Ricky, it wasn't your fault. You're not a bad person. I know that now, ma'am. It took a long time to learn, but... Yeah, just thought I'd tell you all what I know. Thank you, Ricky. This helps. Thank you. You got it, man. Anyway, I think it's yeah, time Jason for me is in the hospital. Up your phone lines. Thank you, look, one last thing, one last thing, one last thing. Look, Jason... Is well, Jason wasn't the guy that died. Jason was the guy that got stabbed. Calvin is the one that you guys are referring to, and and George was the uh, the the dude that drowned, and that was his autopsy. And Calvin was the dude that he took all the files from, you know, from it going public, you know. But I, I'll let you to it. Oh. Night, Ricky. All right, folks. Looks like we got a new lead in the case. If anyone has any info okay. about this I mysterious need wake up, bean, bro. please call in. If she was George's girlfriend back then, she's probably in her mid to late thirties now. Okay. Huh. Oh, we have another call coming in. Yep, here we go. But hang on. What? What's up, Peggy? You talk, Peggy. Yo. You're gonna want to take this call off the air. Who is it? Just do it. All right, folks, it's time for another track. Here's one to help you sit back and relax. We'll be right back after this. Bro, what is she on, bro? It's funky, it's groovy, it's stabbing the twilight by knife and easy. You know what's funny? Out of all these calls that we had today, she decides this is the one that we should be off air. This chick is hilarious, bro. I hope this is good news, Peggy. I'm so immersed. Who have we got? Find out for yourself on line one. 
Hello? Forest. I'm glad I got back through to you. Sounds like it's been a busy From the night, beginning. Huh? Okay. Surprise! It's Leslie, our 911 operator. Okay, fair, Leading fair, 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 fair. To come save us. Fair. It's so good to hear from you. Fair, are you fair, okay? fair, fair, fair. This is smart. This We're is smart. We're doing okay. Sara and I are both happy to be headed I'll back. Penny. We're happy to have you too. Hey. I... Wait, Sara? Oh, yeah, I mean Deputy Martinez. <laughs> anyway, we got back into radio range a little while ago. We've been listening in, but haven't been able to get through until now. It's been non-stop since you left. Please tell us you're bringing help. You bet. Nice! I'm leading a whole goddamn squad Let's go. toward Gallus Let's go. Creek as we speak. This is the big, this is the big, the like, lines. closer, we bro. I had no idea what was happening. That's great news. That's crazy about the phone lines, though. Do you think the whistling man cut them? I'm guessing so. I don't know how he, how she, how the whistling man did it. But that doesn't matter right now. Listen, we're coming in hot. Cherry underscore TDS cheer dex 100. Pay attention, PG. We counting on you. I am, bro. But we need your help. I know Gallows Creek isn't a big town. But if we don't know where the whistling man is, we can't get him. Her. That's where you come in. Okay. Why do I feel... I don't know, bro. You can count on us. What do you need? It might be a long shot, but here goes. The whistling man already called up a few times. I bet she calls again. We're still a little ways out of town, so if she calls, stall her. Buy as much time as you can for us to get in. And while you're talking to her, try to figure out where she is. We'll be listening in, so once her location is known, we'll head straight there and end this nightmare. You know, you know, you know, you know, you, okay. What's fucking me up is I have a feeling what they're about to do. I low key do not think it's Dawn, bro. And it, and, and it's making us seem like it's Dawn, but it's actually Leslie. I don't know, but I feel like there's going to be a mind fuck. Cause like, I don't, bro, I feel like. I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know. Is she really just gonna give up her location? I just feel like there's gonna be a big I guess twist. We'll find out. Hopefully. Anyway, I'll radio the other cars and tell them the plan is a go. Hopefully, the next time I see you, it'll be with our killer behind bars. Take care. That's what I'm saying. It, it we'll see you soon, dry, Leslie. You know? oh, thank God. It sounds like this is almost over. We're nearly through this. Because this is the thing. The the chick, although it was it was very sus that she was trying to get into the building, I feel like they wanted us to believe it was her. She got shot at and she just ran. So like we don't know if it's actually her. Even though it was kind of clear that it was her. But it, it like it kind of seems too easy, bro. For some reason, just for me, it kind of seems too easy. Best we don't waste any time then. Let's get back on air. You got it. But we'll see. When you're ready, shut the music off. Bringing you back live now. Welcome back to The Scream with me, Forrest Nash. The line is lit up, but before I get to our next caller, I just want to say things are looking up. It's almost over. Things are looking up as somebody is, 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 is getting chased by the killer. Oh. Like, Let's bring in our next caller. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash. Hello, Forrest. This is John Hedges. Oh, I'm here John. With Casey. I wanted to give you an update on Jason. John, is is he gonna be okay? He's a fighter. He'll be fine. We've got him stabilized and resting in a bed. Nice. We're preparing to move him to the hospital. Thank you so much. If you hadn't been let's go, there, let's then... go, let's go, let's go. God, I don't even want to think about what would have happened. Of course, Casey. We're just happy he's okay. John, Casey, you two did all the work. Tell Jason to get well soon from us, whenever he's up for it. Well, why don't you tell him yourself? Is this Forrest? Oh shit! I can. Oh, Jason lives. It is. I hope you're feeling better now. It's good to hear you, Jason. Oh, let me ask him questions, bro. Oh well, you know, I 
Got a hole in my stomach, and there's a knife in my leg, but John gave me something to take the edge off. So, I might feel even better than either of you. <laughs> take it easy until you get to St. Gabriel's. I will. But, uh, Dude, like, losing before blood? that, I, I needed to call you. I'm guessing the whistling man is still Bro, out you there. know who it is. I'm glad you asked, actually. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about that. Go for okay, it. here we go, here we go. You spoke to Roller Ricky not long after you were attacked. You spoke to Ricky? Was he... Is he alright? He is now. I mean, he was attacked earlier, but... This call came after. Hey, guys, I'm really sorry, but there's a call on no! the line. No! I just need to make sure we no! don't have another situation Bro! brewing. You fill Jason in on what happened. I'll be right back. Sure, Peggy. Sorry, you, you, bro, she's, bro. Oh my, bro, she's know, fucking that? lying, bro. Ah, yep. Ricky's fine. You don't need to worry about him. That's a relief. He told us about George. Sounds like everything's finally coming out now. It's been tough to hold it all in. Sounds like you've been holding back about something awful, Jason. I'm part of the reason my best friend is dead. Oh, just tell me who it is. And the few who knew about it said if I ever said anything, I'd find myself in jail for a long time. It was hell. And then the town just moved on. See, bro? Okay, so this is what's happening, bro. I, I, this is what's happening. All right, look. Hit her, the girlfriend is pissed. Whoever killed George by accident, it was probably an accident or whatever it was, they threatened each and every one of the, the people that were witnesses. And they were like, if you tell someone I'm going to kill, I'm going to go after you or your family, right? And then his girl was pissed that it didn't get out. So she's going after everyone that knew or, or that was responsible with his death, bro. So the killer's technically not even bad. Like he never existed. But I want to I wanna know, bro. What happened that night? I went along with the stupid Here we go. Prank, See? That's what. Whistling night. Some of the guys on the football team had an idea for a way we could haze the newcomers. We decided to plan a party in the woods. Yep. And have the whistling man crash it. It was stupid. And the cop is in it too. That's dirty. Old. I was the stabbed friend. The party that night, I left the group for a second, met our whistling man, pretended to get stabbed in front of everyone, started... And that's hoping. why he got stabbed and she left, um, she, she stabbed him, but she didn't kill him on purpose, bro. Because she's recreating what they did to her friend George, or her boyfriend. Mighty panic, those screams. This is fire! That was the last time I saw or heard George alive. How did George die, Jason? Like, like scream I or, or I know what you did last summer. I bro. was playing dead. But when I heard her scream. Ricky mentioned a girl named Bean. Is that who you mean? Bean. Oh, yeah. I guess George did. Call What's her name? Her. What's her name? Yeah. He called her Bean. I heard her again tonight, Forrest. Her name was what <laughs> what I, happened I fucking know. bro peggy's in this shit bro are we still on air no no we're not seems like the power is completely gone how do we get it back on i don't uh, oh we can use the emergency generator down in the basement oh we my god in case you ever needed to do an emergency bro broadcast. she's playing me an emergency broadcast Emergency, you know, nuclear war, alien attack, broadcasting a serial killer's location to the top so we can end this nightmare. Fair point. It's in the storage area in the far back corner, up on the wall. You might have spotted it earlier when you were digging around for all those tapes. It'll have a big red button. Just press that. Oh, see you when you're back. Oh my gosh, Bo. He said M, right? <sighs> Dude.
So this is where we die. This is where it ends, huh? So this gives this this gives scream vibes. Yeah, this gives uh I know what you did last summer vibes, bro. And scream vibes. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> What, y'all? I'm scared too, bro. So what did she say? Head to the basement to switch the backup. <laughs> Sorry, I'm fucking terrified. Do you got to turn on your brightness? My fault, I'll, I'll fix that right now. Corner. Why is this station so big? Dude. Yeah, this will this will be on yeah, this will be on, part one is already on YouTube, y'all. Part two will be out tomorrow and then um part three the following. Oh my heart, bro. Big red button. That must be it. Oh, we've got power. God. The whistling man. I need to warn Peggy. What do you mean you need to warn her, bro? Same fucking spots, bro. Oh. 
Oh no. Peggy, where'd you go? No way. This can't be happening. What do you want? Good to talk to you again, Forrest. You know, I've really enjoyed our chats tonight. I guess we've had some moments. My favorite was when Ricky ran you out of the rink. Ha! Huh. You sure did get me then, Forrest. Where's Peggy? Have some patience, Forrest. It's almost the end of the night. Almost the end of the show. But it's not over just yet. We've got a little time still. So let's make the most of it. Oh my gosh. Bro, this... <laughs> I know this probably won't happen, but it will piss me off if this whole thing is a fucking joke. Because remember, I'm an outside podcaster. From a... I, I, I used to... I used to, I, I used to um, be a radio, radio host for millions of people. And I came to this small town and they're just fucking with me. I promise you, I'm punching my monitor, bro. What do you mean? Make the most of it how? Well... Huh? I thought we'd end tonight's Whistling Man special with a special guest. The one who started it all. Oh, let me take that out of your mouth and... You crazy bitch! Let me go. Welcome to the air, Mr. Teddy Gallo. That's Peggy! I mean, that's Peggy! That's Peggy! And Dawn is with Teddy, bro. It's Junior. This Wait. is Peggy! It's all gonna come out tonight, Teddy. Your daddy and his money saved you 20 years ago. Coffin with all the money in the world. Wait, where the hell is Teddy? How, how are you talking to him if you're here with me? Because I'm not there with you, Forrest. I know. Oh, I'm yep. There with Teddy. And if he says where that is, well. Yo, she's dirty, bro. Get it. Fuck, 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 fuck. Wait, then. Peggy. Peggy. Who am I looking at? Forrest Nash, let me introduce you and all of Gallant's Creek. To my boy, Henry Barrow. Henry? Henry. 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 Who the fuck is Henry? Yeah, your son? You mean you. Wait, that. That he? Yes, Forrest. He and I had a son. So there were two whistling men tonight. Of course. That explains how you were always able to get around town so quickly. And that's how you escaped the secret archives in the newspaper office. Not nice Peggy, bro. Yeah, she's lying. That forest. Locking my sweet boy away like an animal. Hang on. Did you say Barrel? That are you? Let me just get this mask off. Damn uncomfortable thing. No wonder Mooney went crazy wearing this. Because I'm I'm so I'm so goddamn confused, bro. I'm so confused. How old is Dawn? How old is she? How old is she? Cause I thought Dawn was like she's she's 38. So how how the how old's her son? She's 30. She mid to late 30s. How old is her son? That's what I'm saying. That's what's confusing me. There we go. Marie? Marie Cap? 
Campbell? Marie Campbell. George's old girl. Okay. Oh. Well, it sure has been years since I last saw. Oh, God. He got smacked. Where are you going with all of this? Everyone's gonna know now what Teddy did. He killed George that night. This night. Twenty years ago. Listen to me. You... Ah! Hey, you're gonna talk when I talk to you. And not a moment before. Meanwhile, Forrest, I'm gonna give you the chance to talk. You're gonna help me reveal what really happened to George all those years ago. Okay, Marie. I'll do it. Good. Then let's talk about the night George was murdered. Murdered? Uh, listen, I... I said you speak when you're spoken to. <sighs> now, I know you've done some good work tonight in piecing together what happened to George 20 years ago. And that's why I want you to interview us. Interview you. All right, I can do that. Thank you. I want you to help me and Teddy tell the story, Forrest. Do a good job. And hell, you might be the only one to leave here alive. <laughs> wow, beat your son's ass, lady. I need to drag this out. If I can buy Leslie time to get back to Gallows Creek, and if I can find out where Marie is, then this can end. Teddy, we'll start with you. Okay, so I gotta buy time. Just, uh, talk me through what happened that night. How did it start? How would I know? It was 20 years ago. Nah, bro. Do you want to die, Teddy? Because if you don't, start talking. What made that night special? That was the night Mooney went I gotta keep him talking, bro. We couldn't pass I it can't up. Rush it. I Let's was just answers. surprised. No one had ever thought to do it before. Wait. You mean this was the first whistling night? I, uh... Keep talking, Teddy. We went up near Whistling Point. Uh, God. Who was there? Me? Jason? And George, of course. Uh, but George didn't come alone. He brought Marie. And Roller Ricky, he was there too, wasn't he? Yes, Ricky was there too. Runner Ricky, our wide receiver. I helped him off the bottle, you know. Because I'm a decent man. Is that so? Yes, it is. Me came apart one day. Some people do. He had some issues. Wasn't stable. I didn't want him to hurt his chances in life. So, I helped him keep himself together. You... You were afraid he would talk about that night, weren't you? Keep talking. This is Peggy, bro. About she doesn't have a son. Midway She's through the night, we put the prank into action up at the trees and saw Jason there, bloody, like he'd just been stabbed. And the whistling man, <laughs> screaming. George and I and Ricky, we got left behind. But Ricky was in on it too. I know he was. He and Teddy were as close as anybody. Teddy must have told him the plan. Did you ask Ricky if he knew or not? I didn't see any reason to. Why? Because Ricky phoned up earlier. He didn't know anything about it, Marie. What? He had no idea what was happening. 
He said he was as terrified as anybody. Isn't that right, Teddy? You didn't tell him, did you? Ricky never could keep his mouth shut. If we told him, he would have given everything away. But he... well... It doesn't matter. He didn't run his mouth enough to tell anybody about it afterwards. He's still guilty. It was just a stupid prank. Hit him again, Marie. Oh, oh God! Damn it! You made George think Jason had been murdered. He thought his best friend was dead. And so tonight you stabbed him for real? It's the role he wanted to play. Jason's still alive, Marie. He was with a friend. We talked her through how to stop the bleeding and got him professional help just in time. Oh. Good sense to die earlier. He's gonna regret that. Enough about him. He and George took off running, but somehow we got separated in the woods. I ended up near the bottom of Whistling Point, and when I noticed George wasn't with me, I panicked. And then that's a fuck the best prank, bro. How he snuck up on me, but the whistling man grabs me, I scream, and he starts laughing. I could stall for time here. How did you feel in that moment? I felt like nothing was real. I felt small. Who was under the mask, Murray? Who was the whistling man? It was Chuck. Chuck Brady. Chuck Brody. Bro Bro laughing Bro away. But then he stops. And he's looking up at the top of Whistling Point. What was he looking at? <laughs> Teddy, what happened next? Nothing. I mean, it was just Teddy. George fell off whistling. Wow. Where were you when it happened? I, uh... You pushed him. You were up there. You were dressed as the whistling man, too, and... I didn't push him, goddammit! I just chased him up there, and he kept... Backing up. So why would he just... When I saw he was about to go over, I reached out. That's what you saw. You liar. It's not my fault. He didn't know it was a joke. If he'd had any brains... The fact that this dude, in his mind, is justifying this... I don't... I, I, bro, I, I, I don't want to save him. I do not want to save him. He does not deserve to live, bro. The fact that he, in his mind, is justifying killing this fucking dude, bro. He needs to die. He would have realized. Ugh. You bitch. No one's going to believe this. After all you did. I believe her. What? This is justifiable, bro. Fuck them. Why else cover it up? My future was at stake, Fuck that, bro. Ash. You know what it's like. People like us are bred for bigger things. I'm going to be the mayor. Oh, this is fire. It's recording, nice. And then, Governor. And then, who knows? What happened that night was tragic. It should never have happened. But it was a mistake. It was just a stupid joke gone wrong. 
So my father sent Clive out to clean it up. Why should a blip? A blip! Bro, this dude isn't shit, bro. That's like, okay, I know, I know this is fake. I know this is, you know, a story. But bro, there was a video online about this, uh, this girl that she, she was like asking, and I know this is like, you know, this is not real. But what I'm saying, this, this reminds me. There, there's a video of like a, uh, of like a, a cop cam, right? And they're in a hospital room, and this girl, she's like a, she's like a teenager, and the cop says. Um, well, she asked the cop, so, uh, where's my car? And he tells her it's totaled because you crap, you killed someone. And then she's like, yeah, but what about, what about school? Like, what about school? And then he's like, are, are, like, are you serious? You killed someone. And then she's like, yeah, but what about school? How am I going to get to school without my car? Like, bro, like... There's some sick motherfuckers, bro. And, like, shit is crazy, bro. And that's what this reminds me of. Like, this, this shit is crazy. Uh, George was a blip? He wasn't a blip, Marie. His father covered it up from there. I searched for George's body all night, but... You never found his body, Marie? I looked all night. Jogger found him the next morning, washed up on the river. Instead of telling the truth, she lied. She said she found him in the reservoir. Our jazz runner, Sandra Sharp. Everyone was in on it, Forrest. Even the coroner wrote a fake report. Said George was drinking. That he just got himself into trouble. And... Fake report? Uh, I only heard the tapes. You'd be disgusted by it. For... All it's worth, Virginia didn't have much of a choice. She had a sick sister whose treatments she couldn't afford. She played along with the gallows to save her sister's life. And her own. Even, even still, she should have told the truth. I did my part. I tried everything. That, that is a go. very, that, that is a very, very tough, because it's like, was it the mayor? Was the one that strong-helded all these people? And it's like, then they told him, if you say something, we're going to come after your family. And then her sister is sick. I That's like, fuck up, paper, bro. But no. This whole town needs to burn, story. bro. We'll take care of Maurice Russell later. You've been through hell, Marie. I'm sorry. You've got no idea. It never should have Damn. Damn. started. He shouldn't have pushed my door down the cliff. He should have been punished. But it's coming to a stop. At least for now. Here, where George and I first met before he joined the football team, it was right after he shot the winning throw. Wait a sec. This is Peggy, bro. This is Peggy. This isn't her son. Sorry, sorry, that, that's, that's, uh, okay, she said, uh, push through a, well, a football? Yeah, okay, but the winning throw. This is the thing, though, y'all. Why y'all trying to save this dude? I don't give a damn about Teddy, bro. No, it's for the police. The police, they're gonna, they're gonna fucking, they're gonna take out Meryl Marie. Damn. 
They need to take her PG? Fuck that, bro. You're at the roller rink. Nope. Rate. Jesus Christ! Forrest, you idiot! No. Nope. We're in the gym at Gallows Whose Creek. Whose side are y'all on, bro? Like, let him get clapped. Whose side are y'all on? What is this, bro? Kai! I told you not to do that. Wait! <gasps> nice! He's dead too now, isn't he? He is. Anyway, I think that about wraps up the interview with Teddy. So. Peggy? Marie? Where? Oh my god. Peggy! Teddy! Peggy. It's been so long since I've seen your face. I'm worried you wouldn't come. And here I was. Oh, fuck. That was the twist. That was the twist. Clever. They had. Can you cheer Dex 100? You so long. They had you conflicted with your emotions because you wanted Teddy to die. But if you chose that, you fucking kill Peggy. Fuck! You'd forgot me. I'd never forget my own sister. What the fuck? Forrest seems lost for words. Wanna explain, Peggy? Earlier, while you were speaking to Jason, I got a call. Do you remember? Well, it was from Dawn. She said that my sister oh, Marie she's fine. was there that night George died. And that I should come to the gym for a reunion. Okay. And when you walked in, you Hold found out. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now look, I don't want them to get caught. My sister is the whistling man. Good to see you too, Peggy. Why didn't you tell me any of this? She said that it was my last chance to see my sister. I knew if I told you, you'd try to stop me or come with me when we need I would, bro. If and you would have told me the story from the beginning, I would have helped you, Peggy. I'll fuck Teddy. Or fuck everybody that, that covered that shit up. Just I don't care what y'all think. All of a sudden, y'all are fucking like Batman. Like, what do you, who, do you, who the fuck do y'all think y'all are, bro? Y'all want to fucking help this town? Fuck this. Y'all don't fucking want to be white knights all of a sudden? Like, fuck that, bro. Fuck this town. You should have said something. So you should burn, have bro. told me. I'm not from this town. Oh, no, okay. I should have. But I didn't imagine this situation. Bro, that matter of fact, give me a mask. Just... I'll help. What happened to you, Marie? You just disappeared one day. Disappeared? I was thrown out, Peggy. I begged Mom and Dad to do something about what happened that night. But did they care? No. They told me to stay quiet. They only cared when they learned I'd been there. Sorry. I never knew. It's not your fault. Really, it's mom and dad I should be seeing right now. But since they're dead and gone, well. Damn. I'll have to settle for the next best thing. Damn. Wait, Marie. I got your back, but not like this, bro. Not like this. She's gonna kill Peggy. Don't. Marie, listen to me. You don't have to do this. Someone has to pay for what they did. Marie, please. Mom and Dad are gone, Peggy. Besides, you forgot me. Just like the rest. You forgot. Is there any way I can prove Peggy didn't forget Marie? Okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on. 
Come on. Shut the fuck up, chat! Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It hurt to be Wait! I never forgot you! Well, no one's gonna forget now. Wait! <laughs> Bro. Bro. So he's not gonna come in. Henry, <laughs> stop! You don't have stop! to do this. Stop! There's still time to make the right decision. If I didn't help Leslie in the beginning and I would have had her killed, I would have died right there. That's crazy. That that's actually that that's a W like beginning. You know, full circle. Peggy. This on your PG. Where's Marie? You sold. God. Bolted right as we got. I almost burned this shit though. You know, I wasn't gonna go out without a fight. Trust me. Right on her heels. Won't be long now. It's over, Forrest. Okay, let me see. So we got Scott killed, Peggy killed, Murphy, Teddy, Chuck. In the dead of night, I can hear you calling. Like the seventy-five percent. That's uh, that's a W. Come in. One suspect is in custody. Try the other suspect into the nearby woods. Cheer Dex 100. Don't talk to you. You don't guys. talk to me, bro. And secondly, Peggy, Peggy was white. What the fuck? Let me go. Oh no. Here in the darkness, I've got this feeling. It's growing stronger inside of me. It's a killer frequency. No, I didn't. Jump? She looked light skin.
So that means I, I, I think they're I think they're gonna lead. They're gonna lead to a um He said shit ending. I'm happy with my ending. Oh my gosh, this music. What is this? Put your hands in the air! Get down on the ground! This stop! Stupid ass music, bro. Why am I on edge? Because Don't move. nobody else has to get hurt. Dude, stop that. Because like all of a sudden y'all wanna be like 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 yeah yeah like Don't stop! Suspect has jumped! All of a sudden y'all y'all like wanna like like Do you have a visual? Negative. No sign of the suspect anywhere. She's gay. Like, all of a sudden, y'all want to fucking be Batman. Like, if y'all don't fucking cut it out, they killed... They killed... They killed her boyfriend. And, 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 and then kept it a secret. And used everybody like as puppets and threatened everybody. Like, no, bro. What do, what do y'all think y'all are, bro? Who do y'all think y'all are? Like, dude. He said, I don't know what you did ten years ago. Nobody like what what kind of shit is that? <sighs> you said well No, it wasn't it. No, it wasn't a dog shit. I'm happy with that ending. I didn't die What are you damn about Peggy? You can't save them all like I don't give a damn somebody had to pay for 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 the crimes Well Peggy was the one that the one the one that that died that made that, that you feel me? Peggy paid for it. It's not my fault. I'm proud of my ending. Y'all don't gotta be proud. I'm proud of my ending, bro. Cherry underscore TDS your decks 100, so only up.